Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. JazzTime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate if you purchase your next watch from us at JazzTime.com. Today, we'll be going over a Rolex Datejust. This one, a Datejust 36, reference number 126234. That means it has a white gold bezel. This one with a Jubilee bracelet, obviously a Datejust 36 with the palm dial index hour markers. All right, we'll be going over the case, the bezel, the dial, crown functions, as well as the movement and the bracelet. And I'll be giving you my thoughts on all of these, including the wearing experience toward the end of the video. All right, so today we have the Datejust 36, 36 millimeters in diameter. That's the two to eight o'clock position or the 10 to four position. That's basically the distance shown by my finger and my thumb here. Okay, we also have the mono block middle case with the screw down case back and the Rolex winding crown to ensure waterproofness or water resistance at least down to 100 meters or 330 feet below sea level. All right, now taking a look at this case, you have a nice high polish along all of these surfaces, including the fronts of these lugs, nicely stickered up on this model, this specific one at least. All right, with, along with the sides as well, nice brush finishing along the back, feels very nice on the wrist. All right. On the front of this case, you have the white gold bezel. As you can see, it has the fluted look to it. Well, the literal fluted form at least, All right? And it originally had the function of screwing <coughs> directly onto the front of the case in order to ensure waterproofness. But, you know, te modern technology and advances over time have made that, well, not really all that necessary anymore. So now it's used as a mark of distinction. So whenever you see this fluted bezel, you know it's a Rolex. It's always made in gold, and in this case, white gold to match the overall look and appearance of this watch, as you can see as I zoom out. Now looking in closer at this dial, this is what makes this one special. The 126234, this one with a what they call a an olive green palm motif. Now if you take a look at the details of this dial, that's where the appreciation really starts to ramp up because you do have that olive green sun ray burst or sun ray or sun burst finish in the back there, but in the foreground you actually have that almost matte finish for those palm leaves. And certainly it's almost as if Rolex is branching out, no pun intended, with these sorts of designs for 2021. This one, very special and quite sought after because, uh, well, I'll be honest, the market price under 10K. Uh, I'm looking at the website right now. Let's see, it's eight and a half thousand, 8.5K right now through Rolex. If you were to get this, if you're lucky enough to get an offer for this one from your dealer, but you know, these are just so far and few, few and far between that it's incredibly difficult to get these and the current market value almost double that at 15K. But you know, that's just the market value, but we can still get them for you, but you'll have to pay that price. But you may actually end up having to pay more because uh, you'll need to establish that trust with your authorized dealer first before they even consider you, you know, a potential buyer for one of these. Anyway, I digress. This one, absolutely a beautiful dial. This specific color of green, I never really liked growing up, but it's one of those that you see enough, you see often enough in nature and in the world around you, and it just takes on its a life of its own and becomes a subtle sort of elegance in a world that's, you know, not quite as much. So very, very colorful, very nice, and actually, did you know that people can actually perceive more values of green than they can of any other color? So, fully appreciate this dial because there's plenty of green, different types of green in this dial to start and to finish, all right? So, absolutely beautiful from there. Now, taking a look at the crown functions, it works as you would expect. Simply unwind the crown at the three o'clock position, and this allows you to then wind the watch at the base position. About 20 to 30 full winds is the most you'll ever need if you are at a dead stop. So if you set this down for, say, a month at a time, you will have to wind it at least once all the way to full capacity to make sure the lubrication and all the parts are still running nicely and smoothly. Pull the crown out to the next position. You can then continue to wind the crown clockwise to advance the date forward. It's about a quarter turn to advance the date by one. So Nice and easy there. If you find yourself on the 30th of a month and tomorrow is the first of the next month, well, just 
switch it over once, wait for the hour hand to pass by the 12 o'clock, the midnight position, and it'll be on the first of the next month, nice and easy. Pull the crown out to the final position. This allows you to uh, stop that seconds hand, allowing you to have that hacking function so you can then place the minute hand precisely wherever it needs to go. Wait for an atomic clock to line it up, then press the crown back in to start up that seconds hand once more. You can then screw in the crown once all the way in order to, there we go, in order to secure that superior water resistance. All right, thank you for focusing. All right, now, what makes all of this work? It is the in-house made movement from Rolex, the 3235 caliber. It has the plus or minus two second per day time differential after casing, giving it that superlative chronometer certification as printed on every Rolex style, this one not an exception. You do have that center hour, minute, and seconds hands with the instantaneous date with rapid setting and the stop seconds for precise time setting, all of which I had just demonstrated. It has an oscillator on the inside with a paramagnetic blue paracomb hairspring with high performance paraflex shock absorbers. So what does that mean? That means that you can take a few bumps, you can get relatively close to magnets, and you'll be working just fine. At least the movement will be working just fine. It'll be keeping track of time, no issue there. The winder on the inside is a bi-directional, self-winding, perpetual rotor. So what does that mean? That means that you can essentially wind the watch using the crown and simply wearing it on your wrist will keep the watch wound using that rotor because of the natural movements of your wrist. It will keep it nice and wound. You don't need to wind this at all. If you wear this every day, literally, you don't need to wind it using the crown. All of this allows you to have up to 70 hours of power reserve. That basically means you can set this down for three whole days minus two hours, if you want to be literal about it, and pick it up three days later, about, you know, you can set it down on a, on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday morning, ready to conduct business, and you don't need to wind the watch. Simply just keep wearing it. Your wrist movements will keep it nice and wound nicely. All right, now on this model, you have a Jubilee bracelet, as you can see, five piece links across, the three middle links being a nice high polish, the outer links being a satin brush finishing. Gentle taper down from the lugs, down to the folding clasp. This one nicely stickered. You have the uh, top portion, just simply lift that to open it up, and you have the Rolex stamped logo on the inside, and certainly you're dealing with steel. Now the advantage of having the Oyster folding clasp is that you have the Easy Link 5mm extension. So that means you can basically get another Jubilee link should you so desire, should you need it. Say you step outside and it's uh, an absolute heat wave out there, about 100 degrees or so, you just pounded maybe two liters of water and your wrist is probably going to swell. Well, if you need the extra sizing from the bracelet, there you go. Just simply reach underneath the clasp, pull it straight out, and there you go. Another Jubilee link, five millimeters of extra wearability. And when you no longer need it, just fold it back in on itself, press it back into the clasp, and you're good to go. All right, while we're here, I can actually try it on, give you my thoughts as to how it wears on the wrist. All right, now taking a look at it, on my wrist, a seven inch wrist or 18 centimeters in circumference. This is a Datejust 36, and you know what I'm gonna say at this point if you've watched enough of my videos. It's perfect for me because to me, this is the sweet spot of all Rolex uh, case sizes because I get a perfect framing from the 12 and six o'clock sides of this bracelet to nicely show the dial, which is nice and big enough for me to read. It's not tiny like a 28 or a 31, this one, and it's not too big so as to over encumber my wrist in terms of the lug to lug distance, the top to bottom. So it's incredibly perfect. So yeah, there's not really much more I can say about that. Looking at it down the wrist here, there's plenty of space uh, Underneath these lugs, if you have a smaller wrist, if you have a larger wrist, you will certainly have, well, less space underneath these lugs, but it'll be resting nicely on your wrist anyway. And with full links, you do have that added extra benefit of being able to wear this on up to, I believe, an eight or an eight and a half inch wrist. It's, they're, they're quite generous with their links on this, at least. And directly onto this style, when it comes to the readability, incredibly easy to read, especially when you zoom out a bit. All right, and also speaking of readability, I can turn out the lights here. And you can see that the chroma light display is incredibly bright. A nice blue tint to that 
luminescence on all of those index hour markers, including the hours and minutes hands. Very easy to read in any low light situation. All right, nice and easy. And without low light, all right, let's focus. There we go. In daylight or any sort of nicely lit situation, those index hour markers, 18 karat white gold, by the way, applied index markers with the chroma light uh, applied onto those, it makes it incredibly easy to read because the the olive green of this dial is actually dark enough in many aspects, in many portions of the perimeter at least, to actually make it very easy to read, even though it seems to be a little bit busy depending on the angle, just simply move it a little bit and you can read the time nicely and easily. So it certainly has that form, has that function, the beauty, the unity, the elegance, and just the class all in one. All right, so, that's about all I have to say about this watch. What do you guys think? Let us know down in the comments below what you think about this 126234 Palm Motif Dial, olive green sunray dial from Rolex this date, just 36. Let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And as always, if you'd like to purchase this watch or any other watch, new, used, discontinued, or so new that it's incredibly hard to get, we can still get it for you from jazztime.com. Links in the description below. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount. So you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.